Spice up your life if you're having a good time. Spice up your life if it's something. The rest of the lyrics. Spice up your life. Don't know the other words. Spice up your life if you're having I a good see, time. see, yeah. Hold tight. Okay. That's right. That's in the yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going spice. <laughs> we're shaking to the left. We're shaking to the right, Holden. This is so, we're in a spice world. We're just living in it. If you know me, you know I am a man of introductions. <laughs> Co my co-host's name is Jake Young. I'm Holden McNeely, and tonight we have Mike Drucker joining us. Thank you so much, Mike. Hey, guys. Thank you for having me. This is going to be fun. And of course, as always, the wonderful, the inevitable, the <laughs> obtuse, the challenger explosion, Tirzo the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the challenger explosion anytime a teacher dies mysteriously Tirzo sure. is involved absolutely like that's it. just <laughs> five minutes before i started this by the way folks uh they were like you know about the clown right and i was like yeah, i'm gonna find out <laughs> Yeah, there's maybe a clown or whatever. But in the comment, thank you so much for the uh, sub. Greatly appreciated. How could Twitch ban that comedic genius? I, I've been banished. I have been banned, but I'm back, baby. And I went to copyright camp and I got my fucking uh, copyright claim dropped, okay? Don't live stream the Oscars on Twitch. It's a stupid fucking thing to do. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, yeah. you know, it's not as stupid. <laughs> giving five subs to the community. Thank you so much, JD Panda, for coming in and very good activities. <laughs> um, all right, and today we have a very special topic. We're going to be doing a tier list for video game mascots. Now, video game mascots, mm -hmm. very it's a very specific one. I don't play video games. Thank you so much for the, this uh, sub as well. Greatly appreciate it. Did you say we had a five gifted sub person, by the way? Yeah, JD Panda gifted five gifted subs. There you go. JD Panda has the first veto balloon of the night. If uh, we, we have didn't one, even get to explain it. I mean, get, explain it. We're not even going to explain it yet. But anyways, <laughs> video game mascots. Now, I think that constitutes two different types of things. A mascot for a video game console and a mascot for a video game franchise also get fucked for not putting moogles on the list let's just go ahead and start yelling at jake for not putting certain things on the list but we do have a chocobo that's... representing final fantasy yeah, yeah i feel like that's a more appropriate uh now mike you have a background in games and games media i don't want to uh, can we talk about the time you worked in a treehouse of some kind yeah yeah can yeah, we talk yeah, about yeah that? i worked I worked in the localization department of Nintendo. You know, that's localization. fucking amazing. Literally that the, the uncle that worked about. at Nintendo. I was, I was, but none of my siblings have children. None of us have children. So <laughs> we just... Well, that's well, the line. You better, you better, you better <laughs> get them to adopt because they have to have an uncle who worked at Nintendo, and yeah. they can tell them. Hey, you know, the Switch 2 actually comes with like eight screens. It's true. My uncle told me. <laughs> the subs have been flying in, by the way. Paranoid Squatter, thank you for the uh, Prime sub. If you have Amazon Prime, you can sub the channel at, at no extra cost. And Oop Marie says, I'm here for Tearzo. Thank you so much. Doo Doo Head Jones, thank you so much for the sub. I, w I wish I was making it up, but I'm not. Boxy Brown the Duke says, Chocobo <laughs> equals breedable. Have you seen oh, those no. thighs? Absolutely. Yowie, yowie. Yeah, um, one time, one time we ranked the Looney Tunes specifically in order of fuckability, and now chat is hungry and rabid for all things to be sexual. To be fuckability. Cheeky Waltz, thank you for the sub, and Burt Peoples, thank you for the sub. Dude, subs are fucking coming in strong. Um, yeah, I we're not guess. doing it. I, I always have to preface this. We'll have Amber back on soon and do another episode where we rank things by fuckability. Tonight is not that night. We're not. We can we can discuss <laughs> fuckability. It can be on the table, but we're definitely just, I think we're, we're going mascot. We're going represents the company line. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're sticking with here. But if you want to have sex with them, Mike or Jake, if you want to talk about holes and penetration and all that kind of stuff, we can also definitely get into that. Uh, all right. Is Spyro a bad dragon? Let's get into it. There well, you go. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll Spyro's see. a child, by the way. So no <laughs> fuckability conversation about Spyro, okay? That is a, that is a boy or a girl. So, so, so there goes my notes. 
<laughs> Sorry, streams. Thank you so much uh, uh, for the sub. And all right, let's get into it. What's the first one on the docket? Ooh, ba- ooh. Oh, first That's of all, terrible mean, picture of yeah, Sonic. Yeah, mean, bad Terri- teeth Sonic. One of the worst. Old, old CG, prefix CG Sonic. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> uh, thank God they fixed it. Sonic, you know, it's tough. I feel like I was a Sonic boy, but I'm a Mario man. The Sonic was, I don't even know what that is here, though. Oh, the teeth, right. Teeth. Oh, the teeth. I thought out weird. of context that was mad. Yeah, Here's I was like, I got those. I got those. <laughs> like me. Sonic um, like me got chump chumps. <laughs> so, so Sonic the Hedgehog, I was a Sega Genesis kid, all right? I love Sonic. I even played the Sonic Frontiers. I thought was wacky as fuck, but weirdly a lot of fun. I enjoyed the movies. I really like Sonic. Sonic, he's the rad dude who's going to teach you how to smoke cigarettes. He's not like Mario, who's just going to, like, babysit you or something stupid, right? Like, he was kind of cool. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like we would chill and, like, yeah, like, uh, you know, listen to, like, punk music together and stuff like that. I don't know. He was, you know... He I fast. desperately want to hear what Mike has to say about Sonic the Hedgehog and where he would rank them. Please, I got thoughts. I mean, I got thoughts. First of, first of all, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say that my basis for mascot is whether or not they represent something other their franchise in addition to their franchise. So, like to me, Sonic, like when you look at Sonic, you think of Sega. He is the yeah. mascot mm-hmm. for Sega. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And maybe like when you look at you know like one of the people from like fucking virtual fighter you might be like oh yeah sega but like sonic is like the sega mascot so yes. to me he's one of the s tiers just Correct. because he's a one and also yes he started out cool and he was like that part of that 90s in your face shit that we all bought because we were insecure little kids who mm-hmm. just wanted to be cool but then he wasn't cool and everyone was like whatever we'll just draw him pregnant and then we were all on board again <laughs> <laughs> like he has Absolutely. gone through so many like so many generations of sonic like Gen Z still likes Sonic. I wouldn't say that about like I don't know Aerobat or some shit from the era. <laughs> totally, <laughs> that's like cool. Glover, Glover wishes. That... Glover wishes yeah. he had the sustainability and uh, and just a generational pull of Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog. That was the cool Sonic thing the with the Sonic movie. The Sonic movie being such a huge splash and really getting this whole new generation of kids. And But the funny thing is he never really went away in this weird way for, just for kids because the games kept coming out. Adults never really like hooked in until Frontiers more recently. They were mostly yeah. for kids, but kids have been loving. There's something about Sonic that it's more than just a flash in the pan. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I agree. I think we have to start tonight with an S tier rank. Uh, Jake, are you S. cool? Are we going S? Let's Absolutely. go S. Absolutely. He represents Sega in such a profound way for all of its trials and tribulations, its weird positioning as this basically children's toy company that still wants you to think like, hmm. Mm-mm. Yeah. Attitude. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's perfect. He is the perfect mascot. All right. He does what Nintendo don't. Put him at S. I love this. Okay. Oh, that's a strong start. I like that. I like a positive start. Now, this next guy, let's put him up. Put him up on the board. This next thing. Super this boy. fighting robot. Uh, Mega Man. So are we saying Capcom mascot? Is that what we're saying here? Well, Capcom would be the first to dissuade you from that idea. Because I feel like Capcom fucking hates Mega Man. <laughs> it's, so, it's so weird. And also, Cap- Capcom's mask- mascot... Uh, was like Captain Commando or Captain? It oh, yeah. might have been Captain Capcom. Remember the old NES booklets would always like have like some bullshit superhero on it, being like, "This is mm-hmm. a real Capcom game." Right. Um, here I'm torn because I love the shit out of Mega Man. Same. Mega Man. We all look like we came from the same pool of genetics. <laughs> um, yep. We <laughs> were the like, childless we're, siblings. We're, we're sad. Yeah. <laughs> we're sad. Like, chubby. We were slopped from the same trough. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, I love Mega Man, but I, I kind of agree with Jake. Uh, maybe 20 years ago, I would have said he's a better mascot. But to me, he's more like B, maybe. He's not like embarrassing. And you do still think of classic Capcom in a way. Yeah. You know, like, he, you know, what? he's a mascot for like 8-bit era Capcom. But I'm going to yes. say B. 
Because I would almost say, um, what's his name from RE4 or uh, Ryu even would be Leon almost, Kennedy. Leon, yeah, is almost <laughs> yeah. more of a modern mascot for Capcom mm-hmm. yeah. than Mega Man is. Um, uh, Jed Checky, by the way, says boner check? Question mark, explanation mark, point. I don't know what that is, but thank you so much for the that sub. That is a, a child and an inanimate object. Exactly. Double jail. You're also, going to double jail. Also, my <laughs> wife and child are out of town, so I'm sorry. It is as flaccid as can be because I've been gooning, baby. <laughs> I've been <laughs> gooning, God but we're not going to get into that, all right? We're not going to talk about that. I mean, we'll wait till we get to Lara Croft before you start talking about Oh, gooning, my God. Okay? I don't even, oh, again, oh I don't my, know how oh much. All right. So, okay. So are we going C. B, C. C. C for Cat C. Oh, C. I say B, but but I'll let, I'll, C seems fair. C seems fair. Let's put it at C. Red man, thank you for the sub. It's Hell yeah. And thank you for being like a really good rapper. You're like genuinely funny, and I <laughs> love your episode of Cribs. People love you. Oh, Best man. episode of Cribs uh, ever. Serial Method killer. And, thank Method you for and the Red was a good sub. show. Oh, dude, I saw the um, I saw that crazy show. Uh, what was it called? It was Jay-Z, DMX, Red Man, Method oh, Man. I think that, it, what was it? It's called like the Blackout Tour or something like that. I saw it in Charlotte. Yeah. I saw it the, 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 in the Charlotte Coliseum. It was incredible. We were I was way too young. It was crazy. Yeah. We just like I lied to my parents and got the cool dad to drop us off. Anyways, this uh, conversation Siri- is getting slightly too cool for a video game mascot ranking stream. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to just Hard Knock Life right Tour away. was the name of the tour, and the there is a concert movie about it called I believe the Blackout movie or whatever, yeah. something like that. All right, what do we got Sorry. next? Thank you, Sunshine, for the sub. Bomberman. Bomberman. Who is he a mascot of? I'm a little Hudson. confused here. Hudson he is soft. Hudson's oh, Hudson boy. Soft. Okay. I would say I bottom, bottom tier. Bottom, yeah. Bottom. Oh. Low. Yeah. Yeah. I, he, he, I like the Bomberman games, but they remind me of nothing but Bomberman. I didn't even like know. They, they, okay. I don't remember Hudson Soft, like the name. Like you know what I mean. I mean the uh, thing is, Adventure I see Mega Island, Man. I think Capcom. Uh, bunch of top-down shooters. I don't remember. I mean, it's there really more, yeah, it's more of a victim of them they're no longer being, like, super relevant. But I see Mega Man, I immediately thought Capcom. Uh, maybe Nintendo. Uh, Bomberman, I think, kind of Nintendo. The problem with Bomberman is, like, the hits and misses and just the absolute absence of uh, the existence of Bomberman today, you know? Yeah. He's bigger in Japan, I will say. Something about Japan makes them really obsessed with bombs of some kind. I don't know why. Ice King um, Diamond but- says Bomberman is insurrectionist, so I, d- I think that's also maybe an issue. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, geez. Jeez Louise. Uh, all right. Where do we go? Do we go all the way, all the, way to the bottom? Bomberman was not at January. The design is very strong. I will say it is an appealing character, an eternally yeah, fun design. I sure. don't want him at the bottom. D or C is where I'm feeling. I would go D then because we already have you. Mega Man at C and he's he's not as strong as Mega Man as a runner. I would even Fair almost enough. say F if we did not have any Fs. That's the oh, thing. Okay. I think I think we've got Fs. We've got Fs. We've got Fs okay. coming. But okay. I might rank it down as well. All right, D. D D tier all the way. And <laughs> sir, I love this series. Yeah. Uh uh What do we what and and moving on now. Bad way to introduce the and now the next one. <laughs> Chocobo. Ooh. Now, I kind of went back and forth. Moogle, Chocobo, every Final Fantasy except for the fucking dumb movie. And I could, I was, uh, there, there you go. That's a sign. I was most mad about the Spirits Within because of the fact it did not have a Chocobo or a Moogle in it. And it was called Final Fantasy. That, that makes it not a Final Fantasy. It has to have those two things in it to be a Final Whatever, Tirzo. Listen, listen. Don't make it come after like Indiana. Some- Again, I think they appeared as like some small iconography somewhere. Like I think they had like so, like a shirt that had like one printed on it or something. I, I think God they damn. appear, but in the shittiest of tiny ways. Yeah, mm-hmm. in like the most useless of ways. Um, yeah, I would. Go- I think it's neat that regardless of setting or tone or even like gameplay style, you need to put a little chicken in there or a big yeah. chicken, technically. That is the hallmark that you are in the world of Hironobu Sakaguchi's yep. magic good times. It's striking, and at the same time, when as soon as like I look forward to encountering one in the game. I mean, right now I'm playing yeah. FF7 Rebirth, and I was like so thrilled when it was like time to go to Chocobo Bills and like get my bird. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Every single game they're featured in 
different in different in interesting ways you know oftentimes they're the uh the the part of the how you get some of like the fun you know obviously knights of the round chocobo breeding in ff7 but in ff9 you have to like take them to different parts of the map to, we're getting too deep into it but i will just say this they represent the company line well as well mm -hmm. as a moogle i don't know Right. Moogles have been like really all over the place. They've changed forms. They've changed designs constantly. The basic chocobo shape has remained constant. And I would say that it really reinforces Final Fantasy as these like sweeping epics that always have this underpinning of like a wacky good time, a bunch of Japanese nerdy de devs just like goofing off a little on the side quests. It, I feel like. Chocobo, a very good representational mascot of the franchise, A. I would and say so, too. I would also say there's far more spinoffs starring Chocobos than there are Moogles. Like, True. You know, mm. Chocobo Mystery Dungeon, Chocobo, or even whatever the fuck the racing game was called. It, like, I feel oh, like the God. Chocobo appears on more spinoffs as, like, sort of the cover model for a spinoff more than Moogles do. Um, <laughs> you know, they're, Moogles are great. We all love, we all love Mog. We all love them. Uh, but mm -hmm. they're terrifying in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They're just terrifying. <laughs> um, they, like they, they, it's they look like they have like, like a teddy bear, but they have like teeth of like a late night host. It's weird. Yeah. It's hard to describe. <laughs> it's like this weird face. Stop, yeah. Tirzo! Stop! It's creeping me out. Tirzo's but I say, like teeth. Yay! I have right. teeth. Tirzo gets. I say scary. A or B. Yeah, I think I think it's A for me just because I. I Again, based on like what Mike said going into this, like I look, I see a Chocobo, I immediately think about, I think Square Final Fantasy. Right. It's just so synonymous. And not only that, but it's so cute and I have so many fond memories and stuff. I immediately also feel joy. Uh, mm -hmm. I say A mm -hmm. as well. I think definitely A. Let's do it. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, it's not cute. Are you kidding? Oh, what are you talking about? You mean tears those teeth, or do you? All right, mean I, I I do have to butt in here sure. on chocobos. It's like right. nobody outside Producer of the Eric. nerds who play the game know Ooh. what the hell those things are. So Ooh, just making, take that into effect. He's making me mad. I'm right though, right? He's making me. Do people not know what chocobos are? Yeah, I, I don't mean, know. I don't, I don't think it's see. Ah, uh, red man. People no. who play games. Really? It's not like a, a thing that's in any sort of public consciousness oh. outside of the people who play the game. That's Never all. heard of them. Put a poll I mean, in I think chat. We're adding a new layer onto the decision. We're adding process. a new layer. Yeah. But put a poll in chat. Put a poll in chat right now. I'll put it down all to right. a B. We'll move on to the next one, but I will put it down to a B if the poll wins. Do you know what a chocobo is? Yes or no? And if 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 more people say no than yes, then we'll bump it down to a B. I'm I'm in it. I get it. I'm with it. I'm cool. They're Fucking. I'm. You know what I mean? I used to smoke yeah. cigarettes. They're like or whatever. cassowaries you can ride. Yeah, totally. Yeah, by the way, they're just like, yeah, they're usually they're usually used in Final Fantasy for traversal and they're really cool. Yes, it sucks. Whatever, Red Man. I used to like you, bro, and your rap albums. But now I don't wow. think so. I don't think you rhyme as well actually. Um Jeez. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm shots fired. All right. <laughs> I don't like how humble you are. Oh. <laughs> Hold is closer than I thought it would be. All right. Interesting. And be honest, too. Don't be, you know what I mean? Because you're all a bunch of trolls or whatever all the time. So be honest on this one. All right. What's next? What do we have next? Crash Bandicoot. Okay. <laughs> Does everybody uh, no, know what a Crash is Bandicoot is? <laughs> I don't know what a Bandicoot is, but I know what a Crash Bandicoot is. Oh, yeah. Tirso's got a soft spot for Crash. Okay. okay. Man, that we're all is, over the place. Tirzo's all over. Tirzo's throwing me up my fucking game. Tirzo loves a fellow agent of chaos. That's what we're learning. <laughs> Tirzo understands. Right. Crash is Poochie. Crash is Poochie. Do you think Poochie. Crash is Poochie? Uh, I love how, dude, Eric's got some fucking, yeah. uh, got some bones Lots. to pick with this yeah. uh, category, dude. I love it, man. Uh, or first of all, yeah, do we get, okay, yes, we know what a Chocobo is, 60%. We're going to keep it a day for now, but, you know, I think we need to give Eric a veto balloon is maybe what needs to happen at some point here. Mm. And Tirzo maybe as well. Distal, no, thank I'm you so good. much for the sub. <laughs> I'm good. So, on Crash... <laughs> Crash was used as a mascot for the PlayStation. I feel like we, yes. if you're old enough, you remember those ads where he goes with like a megaphone, megaphone. and like hassles Nintendo employees or just yes. like hangs out at a diner. But that's not Crash in the games. Crash in the games is just like, hey, ha, boxes, yeah. coconuts. Arr! Like he's just a weirdo. 
And so Wait, I Jake, really... I didn't hear that right. Could you do that? Could you do that impression again? I, I don't know if I got <laughs> oh, it. Oh right. yeah, yeah. Can okay, you... so uh, <laughs> it's 1996. You just bought a PlayStation. <laughs> you put in the hit game Crash Bandicoot. They play some like dunk dunk dink dunk dink dunk, and then he comes on screen. And he's like, ah, boxes, coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> More of a Howard oh. Dean impression than a Crash Bandicoot impression <laughs> now that I am thinking about it. But uh, Crash has also, like, jumped ship a couple of times. Like, he was Vivendi yeah. Universal for a while. He was, like, uh, he was a cross-platform. They gave him, like, a tribal tattoo John Cena kind of thing for a while. Yep. I mean, even yeah, by totally. the early 2000s, he was already in Game Boy Advance games. So he wasn't, like, yeah. the PlayStation guy for long. Eric no. got in my head about the Poochie thing. I really do think it's like we keep trying to make Crash happen and he's not going to happen. He's nowhere near as iconic <laughs> as Mario or Sonic or any of that stuff, right? Like, I have a love for it because I was a PlayStation kid. But even that, it's like, you know. Whoa. I, uh, Yield Fezziwick. Yield Fezziwick. By the way, Yield Fezziwick asked, if I get five subs, can Tirzo have a sub balloon? So, Tirzo, you get a sub balloon tonight, bro. So there it is. Yeah, Tirzo gets <laughs> their own sub balloon. Okay, try not to eat it. All right. Next up, we've got a crash. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm hovering C? around C. I could see. I feel like I, C. I'm hovering around C because at the same time, like people know who Crash Bandicoot is. You know what I mean? At mm -hmm. least, like it's 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 not like. Uh, I think other things. I think people are at least still kind of basically associated with the PlayStation, even if you think it was bad, you know, um, a, a, a bad character. <laughs> I don't know. That was a weird I was thinking throat noise. D? I was thinking D, but I'm giving him C because of George solidarity. All right. It's fine, Holton. Right. Your body makes all sorts of weird noises. <laughs> that was a By the way, what? I get Tim Allen's Jake. in my throat right now. Yeah. Jake, your eyes keep keying a certain way where you have this Paul Atreides look every so yes, often. Yes, yes, the best. Yes. <laughs> it is the best. Yeah. Jake's been having, that's not a key. <laughs> that is actually not chroma spice. key. Jake has been eating mad spice lately. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. And he is shy halud. Yeah, it's amazing these days. All right. Um, all right. We're going to go with Crash at Sea. Crash at Sea. And... We may have our first F coming around the corner. What do we I got? I believe so. What do we got? Gax. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies to Dana Gould. Uh, Wait. Wonderful I, comedian. Here's the thing. I actually, because I'm like, I know him somewhat. I texted him. I was like, oh, my mm -hmm. God. Limited Run Games is bringing back Gax. And his response was like, <laughs> oh, I, nobody told me. <laughs> <laughs> Dana like, Gould he's, was he's, the voice of Gax. That, I forgot they did announce they're bringing Gex back. I think one, yeah, like one person stood up and clapped. Like, who? Like, I, I have a memory. Uh, okay, I have this weird memory. That weird Ben Folds 5 album came out. The one that's like a, a concept album. Um, it has, Reinhold I, Messner. It has Diary the, of Reinhold Messner. Diary of Reinhold Messner. I, I got that on CD, and I rented a ge bad Gex game. So I have this <laughs> weird association of listening to that album on repeat and well, playing a I bad Gex about game. about the army. That's it, son, you're And that album high. is so, like, morose and depressing. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the most peppy song on the fucking album. Even that song's sad and upsetting. <laughs> and I just have this weird, you know, when you remember something, it just puts you in a weird mood. And that's all my association is with Gex. Gex fucking sucks. Gex is not cool. I don't know. Who, I, I did want to try to figure out when I was a kid who that hot lady was on the cover that they just showed. Because I, I wanted to imagine so romance with her. But other than that, I have nothing for this character. So the gameplay, I especially remember like all the 3D Gex games were terrible. Like they played awfully. There were like drudgery collectathons, and the whole time, especially because I played it on N64, so it didn't even have enough like memory for all the voice quips. It's just Dana Gould the whole time making a bunch of like 1950s TV references, or it's like, oh, this is even worse than Herman Munster's New Year's Eve party, or just like what, like just nothing for a 12 year old in the 90s to like, like this is worse than Elizabeth Taylor's divorce, divorce lawyer, like just awful non sequitur jokes. And to make Gex even sadder, he was a mascot, not only for, I believe, Crystal Dynamics, the uh, dev company. Mm -hmm. He was mm -hmm. meant to be the mascot character for the 3DO. Oh, oh yeah, no right. shit! Yeah. 
Because people in chat that were was... asking. People are so mad at us in chat. I can't believe how divisive this one is. People are really pissed off. They're really mad what? about we're, he's, it's, he's give, he's, we're giving him an F. <laughs> The Gex Defense Force is out today, yeah. kids. <laughs> People are mad about Gex and mad about Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> we, we're not saying we don't like, well, we just said we don't like the game Gex, but we're not I saying do we don't like these like games. The game. It's these characters right. as mascots. Right, exactly. It, I didn't even know what he was a mascot of. I have a weird feeling about it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, say F for Gex. Gex sucks. Yeah, but the, the, I think the clown was, was showing us a balloon, a veto balloon. Yes, the veto balloon for chat. If you do disagree with the crash uh, decision, let us know in chat. But are we agreed with Gex at F? Shall we say Gex, Gex F? Gex, Gex F. F. All right, Gex F. Gex isn't worth veto outrage. Yeah, I don't, I'm don't. i not even letting you guys decide Gex might get a veto at, at this at this <laughs> current juncture. I just That would make me so weird and upset if you guys were like, no, it's D. All right, what do we have? Next up, Exa uh, uh, honey, exactly, Tirzo. I'm just glad you're not touching your fucking teeth anymore. All right, what do we got next? <laughs> oh, S. Kirby. S. Incredible, S? versatile, yeah, S. how laboratories. Yeah, I wanna go to the Kirby Cafe in Tokyo. I wanna, I buy Kirby merchandise all the time. Kirby is a fantastic mascot. It represents <laughs> a vibe, a game series, a company. <laughs> Kirby is perfect. People are so, you know? again, so mad at me saying <laughs> S question mark. I didn't even say it shouldn't be S. I just questioned it, you fucking psychos. Go on. I'm not crying. I'm angry. I don't cry when I'm mad. <laughs> Mr. I Shanks, I will what burn you, things if not S. I hope that's you stabbing yourself. Stop touching your teeth. I swear to fucking God. God. You're Here's in the you room really with will that out. You gotta cut. Come it's not. No! Don't, no! Don't focus no, no, on it. No, Stop no, going no, in and out. I get it's it. It's okay? tears of a cloud, not, not teeth of a cloud. Jesus. Kirby doesn't have teeth. Yeah, exactly. It's a weird <laughs> time to do that for that specific reason. Yeah, there <laughs> No! Yeah, oh, no! no! It's worse. It's worse. He has teeth, please. <sighs> All right. Uh, I'm fine. I guess I'm. Mike, would you get final say on this one? Kirby I'm gonna, S? I'm going to say. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say A, uh, just because mm. I, like, I know you think of Hal Laboratories, kinda, but I'm not usually, like, like, when I look at Kirby, I know he's from Hal Laboratories, but I'm not like, ah, uh, Hal, you know, like, it's, I'd say A. I think, exactly, I think Nintendo, and I think yeah. not, you know, a slightly, a step below Mario, you know what I mean, in terms of iconic yeah. for Nintendo. Just a slight yeah. step. Stop being mad at me, chat. I'm already seeing veto balloons, so let's go ahead and put it at A, and then we'll give Ooh. chat uh, uh, the veto. I'm putting uh, it in the poll. I'm putting put it in, in the, the poll. poll already. <laughs> Throw it at A. Because if chat doesn't do it. Uh, Daddy Nuggy Nug says Kirby gives amazing head s again. It's not by fuckability It is how they represent the company and in fact the more fuckable they are the more uh, confusing that gets for the company line All right uh, next up Tomb Raider is a weird one. I, I even wondered I, I mean yes, it is what's the name of the game dev? I can't even remember off the top of my head. Oh, right. <laughs> I think it's also <laughs> Crystal, Crystal Dynamics. Crystal Dynamics, Crystal Dynamics. yes, and yes. Idos, right? Or is and Idos, Idos. Yes. yes, okay, yeah, Idos, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I will say before we before you talk about how you don't think uh, Lara Croft represents stuff, a movie franchise, tons of uh, ads and all the Maxim stuff. Uh, what's the what were the other ones? Those Lad Mags of the two thousands. All the video game companies like Lara Croft was a hot commodity that existed outside of the games. She is a mascot. A yeah, weird, I think she's horny mascot. Can I, I think she's kind yeah. of go on? I'm sorry. Uh, I think she's like kind not she's not as big as Mario, but I think she actually is like a mascot for games. Like whenever they make like the Guinness Book for like video games, it's always like Mario, her, Pac Man. But like I think she is a stand in for games themselves. Mm. So I weirdly I think she's a better mascot for games than she is for her own games. But, well, yeah, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I mean, the fact that it's both Eidos and Crystal Dynamics, the fact that she, she's the first one where it's like not, you know, she's representing like multiple different. But I actually kind of see this confuses me here, Mike, because saying she kind of does represent like you see her and you're like, oh, the video games like people see her 
uh, you know, and especially the pointy to the more realistic. She kind of just represents the video games. You know what I mean? As long <laughs> Very as it's not good to yourself. Very good to yourself. Accurate, yes. pop, accurate Very representation good. Uh, of the breasts of whoa, a digital woman. I don't woman. think, see, they didn't have that. That was the problem. They were way too stiff in the games. They didn't have any of that well, going on. Well, you needed a NVIDIA physics card for that, for that to happen. Uh, uh, poll way, ended, by the way. Yeah, poll ended, and uh, we're bumping Kirby up to an S, which I vehemently good disagree chat. with. Good I, job, I, chat. I, I... <laughs> Sorry, Mike. You got to wait for the graphics. <laughs> so many more. It's terrible, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we're bumping it up to us, and we're popping that balloon, right, Tirzo? There you go. Awesome. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, okay, we got it. We will be, if we keep this conversation going, we'll be going down a weird rabbit hole and be like, what is a is woman? Is a mascot. Like, that's yeah, what, or, yeah, yeah, what is a woman? I'm going to go with, um, I'm hovering around still. Well, you know what? I'm thinking B. Maybe right. C. But it's hard to put her above Mega Man for mascots, but... Uh, B maybe for B. boobs. That's B what for I'm boobs. gonna say A. I'm gonna say A. All right. I'm gonna say Ooh. okay. Ch tiebreaker, a, Jake. Tie major mascot Jake. for the industry. Yeah. You know what? I I agree with Mike. A. A for an amazing pair of triangular polygonal boobs. I may. I I mean that might get my veto, but we'll see. But let's. I'm holding the line right now. <laughs> let's see what's next on the docket. How yes. is that? The, the Eric, best? you know it's going to be an no. S too. How is? Okay, yeah. I feel like Eric's just getting mentally prepared for don't the, don't two don't weeks dwell from now, on whatever it. it is. We're, we're all voting RC <laughs> is one of the most <laughs> recognizable. <laughs> is that we got a lot more? That things. is the single greatest piece of Mario fan art <laughs> <laughs> that has ever existed. El Cardo Passage says, "Is Eric okay?" And we will be getting the uh, oh my God. therapist we, dead. We, <laughs> can we say, can we say, Eric, can we say why you're going on break? Is that all right? Yeah, it's pretty well known. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. going on paternity That's leave. That's why you picked the art. Yeah. He's, he's a father to no, be, actually, and he saw I... pregnant Luigi, and he's like, <laughs> oh, oh, the miracle, of, mama mia, the miracle of a life. No, I came across that about five, four or five years ago, and it still is burned <laughs> in my retinas. <laughs> That's and it was why. saved on background. a folder. <laughs> and, then, and then do they give birth to baby Mario? Is that what happens after that? And it's No, just... clearly it's an eggplant no parmesan. Answer. <laughs> yeah, and of course, a parmesan. Um, I mean, it's Mario. I think we can breeze through this, right? I mean, it's yeah. probably like the, the thing when you said to your list, mascots, the first thing I thought Mario would ask. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, we could go on and on about it. Go ahead and hit us with that. Boom. We could go on, on and on and on about it. I mean, at the end of the day, he just, he's, I, you can't th think of a better representation. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's really just the ultimate end all be all gob goblin cat. Thank you so much for the sub who says, hey, fellers, Aww. nice cocks, which I oh don't think goodness. is, you know what I mean? I mean, I How guess it's a compliment. Know? I don't know. How did they know? About my great cock. I don't know. Thank you very, thank you very much. You know, I've, I've, you know, I've been trying to work on it for a while, and I appreciate that it's starting to get the recognition it deserves. Right, you right, know? right. And he's not talking about enlargements. He's just been curating his penis for really many, many moons. That. Yeah. Uh, all really right. I've been you. Game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I uh, have a twenty-minute Korean skincare routine that I do every day. There you go. I have sure a North Korean skincare routine, which is a bizarre. <laughs> I just scream at it and make it follow orders. All right, let's stop with this. Let's move on to to the next uh, next one. What do we have next, Steve? Steve. All right. So I feel like there's a generational issue here. Slash. Slash. You know, I'm not even a Minecraft like adult. I never got in. I'm not a builder. I'm not like a. That doesn't catch my fancy. I don't know what Tirzo is doing right now, but it's not making you, me they're, happy, they're man. They're doing the pose. They're doing the Oh, Minecraft. right. Yeah, okay. The God, why am I, like, not catching what Tirzo is doing today? Am I out of my mind? You were touching teeth right after we talked about Sonic's teeth, and I was like, why is Tirzo? Anywho, so I kind of want to leave it up a little bit. Do you guys do the Minecraft, and how important is Steve? You know, I, I feel like he's important, but he's not, like, vital the way Mario is. It's almost mm -hmm. like when they need a face, they go to so, Steve. So annoying. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. You were making a really good point. And then they cut to tears out touching their teeth. No, I don't want to talk anymore. If you don't care, I don't want to talk. <laughs> oh, no. You don't even oh, care what geez. I say. I'm just going to sign oh, up. No. You don't even care. <laughs> 
No, <laughs> tears don't, don't antagonize. <laughs> Don't All right. antagonize the guests. All right. Uh, I feel like to also somebody said the the snot guy, the creeper or whatever, also might be the stronger. The creeper is a stronger yeah. mascot. If anything, if you've ever watched people that play Minecraft, the first thing they do is apply a different skin because the yeah. base Steve skin is so nothing. It's an accident of history that, like, the sad goateed guy that made the game made a sad goateed guy as the default skin. <laughs> And it's just, yeah, he's not a good mascot. Creeper is a much better representation. Then why didn't you use Creeper? Because <laughs> he's the fucking mascot. Oh, okay, because he is. So it's like a forced mascot. And somebody even said, is Steve's F, even if you ask kids. So yeah, okay, is he F? I'm shocked at this, actually. He's F. Kids love Herobrine, more the, the creepy pasta version of him, more than him. So we're going I, F? Yeah, I, I think F. It's almost F. like saying like a generic Skyrim figure is a mascot. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Put him at F. Dude, if I, I mean, was... They really tried default Nord helmet guy. They really tried to make that the mascot. If you put right. my picture next to Gex on a tier list, I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm, I'm just out. I'm going to go to the desert and I'm going to walk until I die. I don't know what the fuck to tell you, but that is so upsetting to see that. All right. What do we have next on this list? Oh, Pikachu. Oh, perfect. Pikachu. Oh, just Can't a perfect. deny it. Again, it gives you that warm, happy feeling. And unlike Chocobos, everyone knows, the, which is crazy because of how, it, you know, you, 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 everybody knows Pikachu, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great. Uh, it's, uh, you take the exact proportions of a toddler, yeah. stick some ears on it, and give it lightning powers, and apparently it's the most beloved thing in the entirety of, of uh, fictional characters. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, thanks. S. That was great. Think, it, yeah. If you're a Thanksgiving Day balloon, you're S. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a good point. You're absolutely S immediately. And I just have to, again, state, not only do I see it, immediately think Pokemon, I'm also immediately smiling. And then that, right. that is the perfect mascot, right? So put it at S. Beautiful. Beautiful. What do we have next? That was an easy one. Ah, uh, you know, originally I would have been like um, Ratchet and Clank. I almost said Jackson Daxter. I'm so glad I waited for the title <laughs> thing to pop up. I almost said Jackson Daxter. <laughs> I will say. Well, that should tell you something. Buddy. I know, but I will say this. I, I would have, a few years ago or whatever, I would have definitely been like, oh, FF all day. But I will say, in their defense, the recent last couple of their games have been fucking amazing. Like, really good. But again, as far as mascots go, they're always, you know, again, I kind of use the Poochie almost argument a little bit. But yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, they're. they're I, I, no, no, you go ahead. Oh, I, I was gonna like like. I've I never totally worked agree. for like, IGN. I, like I only worked for Dorkly. It's a much worse <laughs> website. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I have many badges of honor that I fold over their shame as well as honor. <laughs> just keep flipping it back and forth. <laughs> um, uh, where was I? I forget. Oh, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, you know what? I love the games, but like the moment I'm not playing them, I forget about those characters. It's not mm -hmm. like you know, and I'm not like when I see like you know. Uh, a, a cool ratchet and clank figure. I'm not like, do I want to spend thirty dollars on that? Like, I just keep on walking. It just, it's. I think they're good characters because we were saying before we started this that like, there's a difference between characters and mascots, but they're not good mascots. I think in any way. Correct. Right. Correct. Yeah. I, I, what do we go? I think D. I give I it. Think I, D. I can't. I can't bear to put them with Gex. I'm sorry. No. no. They. They're not, not embarrassing. Gex here. Yeah, they're not embarrassing, yeah. but they're not strong. Let's go D. Let's go D. This next one, though, might be a little embarrassing. What do we have? Uh, looked like Rayman. Yeah, and again... Ubisoft's ag attempt at a cartoon. Again, God. really strong releases. You know, Origins is... Uh, some of the best platform co-op I've, I've enjoyed in more recent years. But that said, again, Rayman, again, feels like a punchline if you were trying to think of a, a punchline that's like a lesser a mascot. Line. Yeah, yeah. In the, uh, is... in the uh, Blood Dragon Netflix show, the big reveal is that, like, Rayman is this pathetic, coke-snorting former celebrity that can't deal. <laughs> 
That's like that was the edgy joke. Yeah. God, so I, I think uh yeah, I I do we say F? What do you think, Mike? I need your way in here. And here's the thing is I keep wondering like if if he's one of those characters that's more popular in Europe because he is like a, mm. from a French company and it's a very French character. So part of me wonders if I'm like Ah, D, man, it's Rayman. Like, no one thinks about him mm -hmm. anymore, and he's, like, you know, like, up there in Europe. But I want to say, mm. for my area of expertise, D, because he used to be a little bit more of a mascot, and his games were pretty good. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. I also, like, I want to rank things low that Europeans like. I want them to suffer. <laughs> I want them to hurt. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they take them down a notch. Like, they're way yeah, yeah. too into themselves. So yeah. what I would say I could see D. I don't think I'd go higher than a D. I could also, I wouldn't necessarily argue a Gex-like scenario. But let, what do you guys yeah. say? I'll let you guys decide. Not D or F. Here, not, I say D. D, D, D. I, I probably would have argued for F, but those last couple of games have really kept Rayman alive in a way that I think surprised a lot of people. All right. What do we have on the docket? Sackboy. Um, <laughs> Sackboy. I hate, I hate, yeah. I hate. I really. Yeah. Sackboy they sucks. keep trying to get Sackboy over, and they're never going to get him over. Sackboy is the true Poochie, I think, almost. Tirzo, in a way. Like, please. Stop. Please. That is your I just don't uh, want to think about either. your gross clown mouth. That's not his again. And that's not Sackboy's thing. It would be gross if he was rubbing <laughs> his <laughs> cloth mouth with his tongue or whatever. Um, I don't know. I mean, do we just go? I think we're in agreement this is an F tier mascot. Right? Ooh. Yeah. He was so I, I, sad. It they also tried so to make him one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Sony did try to make him a mascot and it didn't catch on, which I do think should factor into our calculus. Yes. And I think too that like Ratchet and Clank and Rayman have had more recent, like decent offerings to kind of keep him in the flow. Sackboy, it's like two or three games. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was kind of the face of the Vita, so he's the face of failure. I mean, I think I think we Shit. go. I think we go. I F. didn't want to do this because he feels like a much more sincere character than Gex. But you're right; it's just slippy dippy, whoopsie doodle failure the whole way down. I will say, yeah. Chat really likes the clown, the the Tierzo mouth thing. I'm upset about it, and that's why I they like glad, Tierzo. That's they why I'm like glad to do Tierzo. things that upset them because it's. I just think it's so bizarre. Yeah, I know, mm. I know. Yeah, you're you got him. Oh, you got him all please. in. Stop. All right, it's such a long linger, dude. What are we, the fucking cranberries over there, the production area? It's a fucking <laughs> wow. linger on that mouth. Wow, linger as a. It's a reference of the no, no, cranberry we all got it. We were just kind of impressed. That was really good. But that was the good. Clown. We were happy. <laughs> They're touching their teeth with their fingers. Oh, all right, Jake. Oh, no. That's just going to keep oh, that just no. gonna make the tears and do it again, dude. By me doing that. That's just going to uh, prop more. Um, all right, F. Sackboy sucks. F for Sackboy. Fuck Sackboy. Yeah. Feels wrong. Feels wrong. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't at the same time. What what do we have? I want to get some positivity in here. What do we have? A good one next? Mm -hmm. Samus. Now not this one. a mascot. That's a protagonist. A protagonist I don't know. Oh my is God. not what, a mascot. What, what, what? You talked about Kirby. Like Kirby was a fucking god. Thank and now you. Samus comes Thank up you. Because it's a woman. There's no. That's ah, exactly no. Why. First of all, <laughs> well, Kirby's I never finished the game, Mike. Kirby's I didn't know a that. gender. I'm even more woke <laughs> than your brain could even comprehend. <laughs> Uh, no, binary? okay. Kirby um, has has an entire merchandising empire. Kirby has a whole. There are entire people whose aesthetic is Kirby, <laughs> with outside of video games. Sure. Whereas Samus is just the lady what has armor. That's it. But I do think I do think you do still think of Nintendo when you see her. Like when they do like a catalog or some, something, yes. even if it's not a new Metroid game, like they'll throw her in there with the iconography. Barely. She's not top tier even, iconography. Even, yeah. Like even Nintendo considers Samus a C tier. I will C is the highest I will go for Samus as a I, mascot. I, I would totally go C. I'm more and more convinced that Samus is a mascot. Again, maybe it's just the lady pro tag thing, but I almost think about like the same with Laura Croft. Like Samus represents the video games. You know what I mean? In in a big way. So I uh, I agree though. It would be I would go as high as B for Samus. B uh, B, B seems good. Okay, Mike, let's go B and make this man we waste his veto balloon. Yeah, we don't have any Bs. That feels weird. So I think Samus is so B. 
Um, because mascot is a role that you either fill or you don't fill. There's, yeah. there's no B. <laughs> you know what? No, no. Pop, pop my balloon. Pop All my right. balloon. Samus is C. There it is. There. Whoa, we've got a bit of a, a runaway balloon situation. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh. Whoa, my God. And there you go. Get Am I allowed focus. to... <laughs> Am I allowed to there. counter balloon? Am yeah, I allowed you to can, use oh my, my veto to balloon can, to veto his balloon? You absolutely God can do that. I'm Mike. so glad. Bump it up back to B. Bump I'm it up back so to B. I'm so glad you figured it. that out. I'm so glad you figured that out, Mike. <laughs> That's great. Oh, beautiful. All right, there you go. Everybody's and saying she, she's not. It's not even a. It's a Metroidvania. It's a. There's the Vanias in there. She doesn't even get the whole representation. People are saying, of the hell genre. yeah, Mike. People are saying, Mike for president. People say, good job, <laughs> Mike. And Zagaria says, Jake, your misogyny is showing. So isn't that fucking interesting? Okay. So isn't that non binary for you a little bit? All right. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't use it as an insult. By the way, TMD, <laughs> TMD they give the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. I think we're uh, out. Are we out of gift sub balloons? We have another one. All right, you get it. You get one, TMB. You get a sub balloon of your choosing. Uh, let us know if you already have one um, for us, or if not. Uh, uh, thank you. By the way, people are now calling me an ally, which I really appreciate. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah. Uh, let's move on. Uh, let's move on. A slime. Now uh, we're talking first. All right, talk perfect. about a character. That people oh, wait. wouldn't oh, no. even. We have to be. Hold on, hold on. We have to be sad because the great Akira Toriyama left oh, us. Oh yeah. Recently. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, Tierzo. Yeah. Make the goofy face while I talk about the Japanese mangaka wow. that changed culture as we wow. know it. <laughs> Dropped Whoa. dead at age sixty-eight. Wow. Whoa. Of a wow. brain <laughs> blood barrier. Jesus. <laughs> what do you? What, uh, uh, yes. R rest in peace. The Dragon Ball guy, but we're not talking about uh, shonen uh, manga and anime. We're talking about uh, Dragon Quest. I would say more so, way more so than Chocobos. No one would know what the fuck that that represented or have any idea what's up with Dragon Quest here in the states nearly as much. Yeah, but no. in Japan, like people, like kids took off of school, like like in Japan that. I think would be a major, 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 or is a major cultural icon. Totally. So, and again, Goku uh, is everyone know. Again, Macy's float, Thanksgiving float. Right, yeah. Goku for sure. I'd give it S all day long. But a slime for Dragon Quest is what we're talking about here. But the slime is a mascot. It is not the main character. It is not the like uh, you know the whatever other. Like it is this universal, simple. Real quick, icon Jake. I hate to I hate franchise. interrupt you, Jake, but people are calling for a poll, like we did for the Chocobos. Can you throw Do one you in there? Do you know what a slime is? Yes, okay. and I swear to God, be honest, chat. If you knew that that thing, that slime, represents the video game series Dragon Quest, okay? The book these says, I hate this entire list. Lol, lol, lol. Wow. Why? Wow. It's a good list. It's a great Sorry. list. <laughs> We're killing it. We're doing a great job. Um, no, much love to the book thief. Uh, just because Dragon Quest isn't big in the U.S. doesn't mean that slime isn't an amazing mascot. Thank you, Mr. Why Shanks. Is slime Thank you. Thank Why is slime you. an amazing mascot? Instantly recognizable. So a child can draw it. Uh, easily turned into a million different kinds of merchandise. Uh, just like it represents a greater saga all contained within its single iconography. Did I go full shy halut? The slime is pure. The slime is true. <laughs> yeah, I speak for the slime. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but going off what you're saying, also, like the Chocobos, it's the character in the series that's had the most spinoffs. There's a bunch of slime-based spinoffs in the series. So that, to me, always screams mascot. Um, what are you guys, I'm scared to ask, what are you guys thinking with slime? And I love Dragon Quest, by the way. I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on the franchise. I love, I thought 11 was great. You know, and I will B. say like, B, all right, B, I can kind of roll with. I felt like you guys were going to go I, A with slime and I was going to maybe have a hard time I wanted to go S and what? then I was willing to compromise on A, but then seeing that the majority A. of, the majority of chat does not recognize Dude, it. come I, on. It, I think it's, I, I, I would even argue for C. It but is I guess, a singular, if we're just talking about 61% of, of chat mascot. didn't know what the fuck it was. And we're talking mascots, like recognize, and we're not in Japan. I mean, how much are we weighing Japanese culture? I'm not crying. I, I'm, <laughs> Holden, Holden, I agree. 
I agree. Holden is and right Therefore, here. I'm compromising on B, but it is deep in my heart of hearts. The actual mechanics and role fulfillment of a mascot is so perfectly embodied in slime that I feel like it is an S tier mascot and I'm compromising my way down to a B. By the way, this is not Toriyama relate. Like I'm not, right? I feel like we're weighing a reason. No, no, hold it. No, no, it away. has nothing to do. It has nothing to do with Toriyama's passing. Good, because I want to preface sad. it with that. Put it on, put it on B. And I needed to preface that statement uh, with my ne for my next action. Um, please, can you, Tirzo, take out my balloon? No, oh, no, <laughs> oh, you're the <laughs> fucking Grinch, dude. It was sixty percent, bro. Sixty percent. It doesn't around. matter. It's a good mascot. It it's is a you have never, never seen the light, light of God. It Pop it. Thank you. It's Go a good <laughs> mascot for a game series that a like perfect 260 mascot. people just No, of that like what how many people actually voted? Like 40 people were like, I don't know. Okay, and you're like, but on this top of that, shit. can I also just say I just don't agree watching. I just don't agree. Like you look I, again. I look at Kirby. I look at Pikachu. I go, oh, so cute, so sweet. That thing. I've never looked at a slime and been like, oh, cool, a slime. In fact, a slime is associated with an annoying enemy that I have to fight a million times, and it's like not that interesting. It just bounces up and down in the beginning of the game. I don't know, man. And then all they do it's is like they a just slime reskin marry it. Your mom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seem very. This is you irrational. This is irrational. You're so biased, Holden. Maybe I'm bi maybe I'm not biased, but bags. Maybe I'm based. That's right. Maybe I'm based. Look at whoa. History Extreme, will... I don't even know what that was. Holden, up. you are going to regret your words and possibly deeds. I'm just saying. All right, let's move on. I'm so sorry, guys. That's just how I felt about it in the moment. <laughs> Spyro the dragon. I never liked Spyro. I know people. Oh, are like, oh good! Yes, All right, the eye chat. Light him up. Light him. Light his ass up, chat. People are so weird about Spyro, right, Mike? People are weird about Spyro. I, I, I mean, I think Spyro is a perfectly serviceable Crash Bandicoot for children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's my thoughts and on Spyro. Skylanders yes. And the Skylanders franchise. Yes. Uh, Spyro you know, was Skylanders the... was good. Yeah. I have a weird bias with Spyro because. It was, you know, you're in that transitional period and, and from child to g becoming like a teenager or whatever. I did, Spyro was the you first. Me? Yeah, a little bit. And I was beaten <laughs> off a lot. I was gooning hard. And uh, no, but I, Spyro was that the first game that I played where I was like, I think I'm a little too getting too old for this shit. Like I kind of I was like, mm -hmm, oh, yeah. I think this game's not for me. And now there are games that yeah. are more for me. And they're kitty games, and this is like a kitty game, so it's kind of clouding me a little bit. I feel like younger people are a lot more drawn to Spyro, and because I remember being confused at all the hype for the Spyro like remake series or remaster series or whatever that came out. Everyone was like freaking out about. It. I was just like, I don't know, you know what I mean? I was kind of, I was like surprised. Um, yeah, I know it's a boomer take. I, I don't know what I'd rank him though, because I do think people are hype about Spyro, and I feel like he is recognized to a certain yeah. degree, but lesser than obviously the the big hitters. And he had his own show, I think. Right? There was a Spyro. Was there kid show? Was there? I maybe was, there maybe. wasn't. Maybe I'm making that up. I could be completely making that up as an idiot. Uh, the first uh, Spyro is so hard. Really, I thought it was like what kind of whatever. I'm I, willing to give Spyro a B because those initial games were yeah. like pretty they were incredibly well done for the like they did all sorts of technical things for playstation hardware uh thanks to the skylander series he became a beloved mascotty character uh what god oh everyone's saying that you're making it up except for one person who said there's definitely a show on netflix so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's only a way to google this wait a minute yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spyro appeared in Skylanders Academy, which okay. was a show uh, produced by Activision Blizzard, debuted on Netflix, and there on the image on Wikipedia is a sassy purple dragon letting people know that he may be little, but he sure is tough. Uh, okay. All right. I'm going I... to yield to I'm going to yield a B. I feel like a B. Is I a would. That sounds right. That's the absolute highest I would go. But I also would feel like we need to represent the youngs in chat. Give Spyro a little bit of love. 
So I'm cool with a Spyro getting a B. A bee is a little bit of love. A bee is a little bit of love. Better than a slime, that's for sure. And a, listen, being next to Samus is not bad. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get some let's get some macho man energy in here. What do we have next? Bring it on. Yeah, baby. Oh. Master Chief. More like Masturbation Chief. Goonin. Call back. Uh, yo, yo, right. yo. Ah. I got a good idea. Here's my idea. Here's my idea. We take Iron Man. You know Iron Man? We give him a fucking gun, man. He's a cool gun guy. But yeah, da, da, da. that's not it. That's not it, bro. Motocross helmet. One trillion dollars, please. All right. Master Chief, my big argument is talk about something that's like the face of a company yes. or the, you know, yeah. is, somebody said, you know, he's they, generic. Xbox but got nothing else. Xbox, Xbox but, but. Yeah. Xbox did Mario's better with generic. Master Chief, Chief is a better representation for Xbox than anything Sony's ever had, right? Mm. Like, you could maybe argue, like, Lara Croft, I guess, or something like that, but, like, Master Chief equals Xbox, period. Mm -hmm. cross-platform. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. what, uh, uh, Matt, well, not, not Halo, but, yeah. um... Uh, Laura Croft no, is cross platform, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 and agreed. It's exactly. a better. So even Laura Croft is like not, you know, still Xbox. Is... Microsoft got Master Chief to stick. Bet what you're saying is better than Ratchet and Clank, better than Sackboy, better than all the yeah. better than uh, a yeah. Sweet Tooth, the the murder clown. Like at PlayStation yeah. tried so many times. So many. Crash Bandicoot. Kratos might be the only competitor, really. Maybe Kratos, but yeah, at the end and of the day, it took a while. And it took a yeah. long time. And at the end of the day, Master Chief, you see that image, you immediately Xbox. think Xbox, Microsoft. Yeah. Also, I Red H, yes. uh, I agree I with Red yes. H Mascot for people that I call guess. me a slur, which I also agree <laughs> with. But uh, no, right, that's the no, 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 uh, no. The mascot of people that call you a slur is the skull face guy from Call of Duty. I yeah, his yeah. Name, like Percy. The guy with, like, the cross I think it's guns. like Percy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. God. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm leaning towards an A for Master Chief. I could I could see an argument for S. But I think I, S. I honestly think if we're talking iconic mascots that represent concepts and entities outside of its core games, Master Chief is S. I, and, I, 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 Master I, Chief I is the like symbol it. of tea bagging. <laughs> I'm I'm not even a big Halo fan, but I have to say yeah. S. Like Same. like I might not enjoy the franchise, and I don't necessarily think the lore is particularly interesting for me right um, i did like it when he I said he had to finish the fight i think it was really cool when he was like i'm gonna finish the fight another thing i, I mean, will yeah, there's cool stuff in it but i mean like i still say s i i personally <laughs> would if it was my list i'd give it an a not an s just for a little bit of like i just don't know if it holds up to like fucking mario per se but sure. i can see it in it as an s and another thing i'd like to throw out there for it right out of the gate that was a fuck the fucking launch game right was that like not the first yeah you know, game on the Xbox. I mean, that again is No, a... I think you're thinking of Binks the Time Sweeper. Ah, I think you're thinking of Binks the Time Sweeper as a there launch you go. Xbox game. Um yeah, I or I'm Cameo, cool with... maybe Cameo. Do you remember Cameo? I'm a, a I'm cameo? cool. I'm cool. That with... was 360. That was 360. Oh, I'm cool okay. with okay. S. I'm cool. I'm cool with S. I'm cool with it. All right. All right. All right. There you go. I feel weird about it, but I'm cool with it, and I like it. It's like the first time I made love to a, whatever that was that I made love to. What do we have next? Vault Boy. Oh, uh, Vault I Boy mean, is a great mascot. Liter it literally is. I mean, he, he's within the universe of the games, a mascot. Yeah. yeah and he represents the franchise outside of uh create a character that you made with a fucked up face he also so, passes yeah. the makes me smile test i see him and i smile <laughs> that's true yeah yeah i just like yeah he just makes me he makes me a little happy i don't know like even in the um was it i don't know if they did it in fallout 3 but fallout 4 you know even as the the perks stuff no. it just all right mm -hmm. What was that fucking fake out, man? That was just mean, man. <laughs> Someone's just gonna, one of these guys is just gonna like stab me with a knife one of these days. Ah, what is this? Did they throw something at they you? They threw a bottle cap at me. They <laughs> Hold so in, why? That cloud oh, fallout. Fallout. That. Fallout. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, bottle caps. I bottle get it, bottle caps. I get it. I get it. Why, why? That is the third time. That's the third time Tearzo did something and I had no idea what the fuck they did. And then the second it was explained to me, I was like, of course that's what that was. Tearzo just nerd flexed on you so hard and you lost. 
I completely agree. Whatever. I've beaten every Holden, from Holden. Soft Souls game. Wow. Holden, I'm going to say this. The next time we pitch a show to the network, we leave out the idea that there's a mute clown ever present to <laughs> <laughs> it seemed great on paper. It seemed great on paper. I know. Jake definitely also, I remember you being like, I don't know about the cloud thing. <laughs> All right. I really like Vault Boy. I don't think I'd go lower than an A on Vault Boy. What do you guys a, think? A is where I lean. A, I'm also at A. This is the reason why I would say, and I'm not going to put a poll in chat, by the way, to prove this, because I think this chat is a little more leaning towards a video game community. Obviously, we're all streaming on Twitch and shit. I think a lot of people would not know what that represented. Mm -hmm. I, so it's an A. Yeah, it's a hard A. All right. Moving right along. Sorry, but I know people are so mad. I know. Brit Nick, I apologize. Uh, all right. Go on. Pac-Man. It's Pac-Man, baby. Namco, I think it's us. Mm. What do you guys think? S. Do we have S? S? I say oh. S. I, S. I say okay. he's he's been around. He's hung around. I think he's kind mm -hmm. of like when I say he's like Mickey Mouse. I mean in the sense that like now his character doesn't have that much, you know, like personality. It's not like you're like oh, I my favorite Mickey Mouse joke is. But mm -hmm. seeing him makes you go Disney, and seeing Pac Man doesn't necessarily always make you go Namco, but it makes but you go video games, video games, and mm. arcade video games from a certain era. It yeah. way more than Lara Croft. Pac Man yeah. represents the video games, even for like a weird old lady alone in her mm -hmm. home. You know, watch it like the lady from Requiem for a Dream would even recognize Pac Man. You yes. know. On the one hand, I really appreciate Pac-Man's <laughs> spinoff works like uh, the song Pac-Man Fever. Man Fever, an incredible yeah. Pac-Man Fever, driving me crazy. Um, but do you? But Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, that show fucking sucked. They tried to give Pac-Man a personality, and it was yeah. weird and bad. Yeah. The old Pac-Man cartoon where he's like a, be, a, a beleaguered father was weird and bad. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if I re I want to, I'm pushing more towards A, but you're outvoting <laughs> yeah, me Pac on Yeah, also, Sunshine Wolf brings up a good point. Pac-Man's also just the 80s. Like, Pac-Man's yeah. like a mascot Ooh. for an entire decade. I think Pac-Man's I didn't think of that S. angle. Dude, even the ass to ass guy from Rec Room for a Dream recognizes Pac-Man. <laughs> what a right. weird point of reference. <laughs> Hold like... it, name an old man. Uh, shit, shit, shit. My grandfather, the ass ass guy from Rec Room for a Dream. Uh, Keith, that's it. Keith I'm out. David. I'm all... <laughs> His name is Keith David. The actor is Keith Thank you. David. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. We got that IG and energy in here. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Put him in S. Put him in S. Uh, I'm pretty sure Eric went rogue on the la on the next one. <laughs> I did not add this one to the list. Okay. What's this next Producer one? Producer Eric, what is this next one? What's this next one? I cannot take credit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Metaverse <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Zuck. Was that, is that James? <laughs> Is that, oh, that's Tears? Oh, that was <laughs> Tears. <laughs> Agent of Chaos. I mean, that's awful. So funny. it's awful. That's Talking so about funny. recognizable for like failure, it, re it represents absolute abject failure. I oh love it. Can I, say, can I say something? I use a meta quest every day. I willingly strap Zuck's fucking death machine onto my eye sockets and I play with it for upwards of an hour. Uh, and I have every time. Every time, because it's sitting there on the main screen being like, hey, why don't you try giving Horizon Never. Worlds, our metaverse, a try? We've spent a trillion dollars on it. Please give it a shot. And every time I'm like, you know what, Mark Zuckerberg? Okay, let's see what a trillion dollars looks like. And every time I go, it is the saddest fucking dystopian <laughs> empty nightmare. It is the worst. Pl I would rather be someplace in the real world where people would hurt me. Than the fake universe. That <laughs> I will also. I, I will good. say this though. Opera dog in chat uh, has the comment. Jake is gooning. Jake, true or false? Oh no no no! I play. Uh, 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 I play that like Beat Saber knockoff where they like have a coach that's beat. like you're doing great. Beat Saber. There you go. Beat and I Saber. I don't play Beat Saber. It's called Supernatural. <laughs> but that's, I'm not here to plug. All right. Okay. Uh, so F, obviously it's F. 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 Yeah, F. Big, F. hard F. F. Should be a Z. And we have one more for you people tonight. Uh, and it's been an I honor. I did not and a privilege. want this on the list. And I don't. I, I disagree. I di absolutely disagree. Not a protagonist is not a mascot. 
Link only represents a series of very good Nintendo games. There is not a, there's no like greater represent. Don't you give me the boo hoo yeah. face? Finally, so I'm not, mad. I am He's not right. the big Finally, Tearzo, boy. Right. Yeah, He's thank right. you. Finally, Tearzo gives you the fucking. A main thing. character is not a mascot. Uh, Pikachu is the mascot of Pokemon. Red or Ash Ketchum or whatever you want to call him is not the mascot. Link is not the mask. The 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 cuckoos Dude, are more of a mascot. I'm, I'm than saying Link is. I'm throwing it out right now. The Moblins are Dude. more of a mascot. I'm throwing it out right now again, and I guess my wow. mind's twisted because once once Mike said Lara Croft represents the video games, like Link is a mascot for all of it like i feel like yeah. almost more than nintendo but specifically definitely nintendo as well mike floor is yours um i just want to say first of all jake i bet you wish you didn't use that balloon yet um second oh, of yeah. all uh i have a lot of wishes because because <laughs> link's gonna go high up there i i God. i i agree yeah. that like he's like he's 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 gonna one he's gonna have his own movie which is always a thing and I think that people outside of games do recognize him, which is something we've talked about. We've done polls about how much do you know who the slime is or what a chocobo is. But like, I think if, you know, someone's grandma saw Link, they might not say, oh, that's Link, but they would be like, oh, that's a video game thing. Like, Here, I think it's a recognizable Zelda. character. Yeah, that, yeah. That's Zelda. Well, yeah. Mike, you know what I have yeah, to say exactly. to that? They would misname Zelda. You know what I have Zelda. to say to that, Mike? Excuse me, Whoa! princess. Oh, <laughs> dude. Whoa. Link is not a mascot. He is a main character from a popular line of video games. I don't even like the fact that we're using general notoriety as an indicator for the effectiveness of a mascot. Link is on purpose just a generic elf boy. He does not represent a greater entity. Mario is Nintendo's mascot. Uh, uh, fucking, he is not the equal Love of it. Sonic. He is not the equal of Master Chief. He is an iconic video game character who is, and he doesn't even represent a specific era because they've changed his look. They've changed him a bunch of times. Is uh, Breath of the Wild Link a mascot? Is Tears of the Kingdom with the fucking uh, himbo hair a mascot? I don't can I, know. Can I just make a, can I just, can I say Penny two? Lane in the chat agrees. Penny Lane says, I love Zelda. One but person. Jake is right. Can, can I just throw this out there? Can I say two words to you right fucking now, Jake? Soul caliber uh, uh, let's oh, yeah. talk about it that video game put i i tears out i know where you're going i that game put in incredible splashy cameo mascot characters in into theirs and it, depending on what system you had okay you had fucking yoda the mascot of star wars you had kratos the mascot of sony and you had Link. We agreed kratos who was is the most hyped mascot. character no we one gave a fuck kratos even about the other mascot. two everyone just wanted link everyone was just I hyped for link it's fucking. I believe it might have been the best-selling one of that release. It absolutely, what I know because I've, I was just listening to um uh, a lot of hype about it on another podcast listener called Triple Ko. But but uh, the, all that to say, it is it is I think the biggest point prover, and your points dumb, and <laughs> you are bad, dude. My point is yeah. solid. My point is so foundational, and both of you are just no. No. Lost in a in a weird nostalgia haze, huffing your own farts, no. just trying to justify no, your no, own no, no, emotional no. reaction. This not is after, to, not after your Kirby thing. Yeah, this is to kill a mockingbird, <laughs> and I'm the cool lawyer dad, and you're fucking Boo Radley or whatever. You know what I mean? No, this is fucking inherit the wind, and I'm the cool suspender city boy, no. and you're the weird uh, southern lawyer that's like, I think Jesus hates monkeys. That's you. <laughs> no, this is a time to kill, and yeah. I'm the person who says, Yes, I hope. Hope he dies and he deserves to burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I can see it not an S, but I can also see it an S. Mike, what do you think? I would say I would be willing to give it A as a compromise, but yes. I want S. I think I we'll think be I'm, here all night. I'll take A. I'll take A. I'll I think A it. is reasonable. Uh, not as big as Mario, but up there. Yep. A. <laughs> All right, we have some veto balloons. Whose balloons do we have left? We have two left. We have, wh wh who are they for? JD oh, Panda. This, JD Panda. Yeah. 
and uh, T- and uh, TMB. And doesn't doesn't Tierzo have a balloon as well, or do we already pop it? Oh yeah. And Tierzo gets a balloon. You just move Tierzo, one. Tierzo, you're going to have to. You just get to move one of your choosing, and we'll just see it right now or whenever you want to do it on the screen. So JD Panda, what do you got? Link to S J- from JD Panda. God go. damn it, JD Panda! If it wasn't for the fact that you're an incredibly supportive and wonderful person, I'd be so mad. I'm popping mine. Vault Boy to S says TMB. God damn! All right. And uh, last but not least, Tirzo, just move one uh, wherever you want. And it'll be done. Oh. <laughs> no! Tirzo, no! Tirzo, no! 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 Insane! <laughs> Why did we That's give an insane, insane. clown demon and so much power? And because the clown has magic powers, it was they were able to move it way above the rank. No. Incredible. Oh, no. All right, lock this it in. This is a farce. This is a farce. Lock it in. All right, this is the final. Let's go through them right now. We've got Gex at F, uh, Steve from Minecraft, Sackboy at D, Bomberman, Jackson Daxter, no, Ratchet and Clank, no, and Rayman. Ratchet. We've got at C, Mega Man, uh, Crash Bandicoot and Slime. At B, we've got uh, Samus and Spire the Dragon. At A, Chocobo and Lara Croft. And a big S tier, a fat, meaty S tier. We've got Sonic. We've got Kirby. We've got Mario, Pikachu, Master Chief, Pac Man, Link somehow, Vault Boy somehow, and incredulously, a troll <laughs> S with the Zuckerberg metaverse. Zuck the fuck. <laughs> and there it is. And then you can't do anything about it. No, 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 this is Tirzo's never. I feel like this is Tirzo's big like Tears- villain turn to being a full on troll of this fucking live stream. This, Tirzo has ascended and done their full heel turn. This is incredible. Unbelievable. Wow. Pocket Size says revenge. I also love that we set the precedent now that if someone gives Tirzo a sub balloon, they get to move something <laughs> completely wherever they want to, which I think is great. All right, um, here we go. Uh, f- uh, that's it. Thank you everybody for being. Yeah, I know. It's uh, fucking terrifying. It's so uh, all right. Uh, 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 the true, uh, the, the true. Yeah, honestly, Tears a good mascot. It is a great Tears set of chompers. Exactly. Yeah. Like, actually, too. At least it was healthcare. not like gnarly teeth that we were seeing yeah. all night. Yeah. That's kind of yeah. nice. That was terrifying. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you so much, Mike, for doing this with us. Uh, you Thank been, you been a bl- this was so fun. I could have imagined a better better plug, guest for this. Plug, you were so plug, fun. Yeah, plug, plug. What do you plug, want to plug? Plug. Anything? Plug. Uh, 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 you can follow me on X at Mike Drucker, Ugh. and you can follow me on basically everything else at Mike Drucker is dead. Um, uh, I have a book coming out next year about video games called Good Game No Rematch. Hell yeah. And, uh, I'll probably annoy you guys to be back on this before that comes out to promote. Yeah. Please. Oh my what's, God. Your metaverse metaverse what's your metaverse handle? What's your metaverse handle? Uh, Big Dad 69. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Small Dad 96. That's weird. All right. Thank you to uh, Tirzo. Thank you so much for being awful tonight. And of course, Eric and James in the production booth. Uh, and we're out of here. Have a good night, everybody. Peace. Ta-ta.